Hello, we are here with William Crawford from the film The Tree Trial. Now, The Tree Trial, what a crazy concept. The fa honestly, how realistic is the fact of him running into a tree and getting arrested? Well, I've, I've ran into trees all the time. It's usually with my car and I have got arrested for it. Oh, that sucks. Um, where is this country, Intibo? I've searched on Google Maps and I couldn't find it. It's in another dimension, just east of New Jersey. Oh, well, okay then. What happened to the clown makeup for the character who was playing the clown? Well, they threw it in the trash. And the reason why is because the, the clown that was using it was clowning around. Ah, ha, ha, ha. How did, how did you find the bopping in the film? We played a game called, I think it was called Bop, Bop, Be, Bop. It's where one, one person points at another person and says, Bop, Bop, Be, Bop. That person has, has to interrupt them by saying, Bop. Okay, and is this your first film? Not really. I, I've, I've been in two films that I made myself. One was, an, was a cartoon called Diamond, and another one was a Wild West live action video called Gunfight City. Wow, those must have been very big. Okay, roll the clip. Isn't Intibo beautiful? Yes, it's so lovely here. Whoa! What the? Who gave this person permission to litter? Are you all right? Oh yeah, I'm fine. Guess what happened? My husband ran into a tree. Thanks for bringing this to our attention. Wait, what are you doing? What? What did I do? You know what you did. But be quiet. Tell it to the judge. This is going according to plan. We are standing outside the courtroom and our sources says that the man who was on trial, Bop, Bobbity Bop, Bop, has been charged with a horrendous crime. We turn now to the courtroom where the trial is about to begin. After his left dishonorable dismiss, Judge Mr. Lady Gaga. Bob, you have been charged with piracy, murder, shoplifting, driving under the influence, bank robbery, counterfeiting, bad fashion, trespassing, and other illegal things. What? I didn't do any of that. Oops, I'm charged. You ran into a tree. <gasps> At first, I'm material to being assaulted. <laughs> or in the court. Or how the large or any of the of the soda. <laughs> Hurry up with rolling him as guilty, my makeup is fading. Let the first witness step forward. Tell us what you saw when this horrible tragedy took place. Well, as much as I don't want to say it, my husband ran into a tree. I don't want him to be sent to prison, but I refuse to lie in court. He deserves whatever sentence you give him. What do you think of this, Daniel? I can't concentrate with all this noise! Let's move him along. Anything else, Steve? Yes, we have a video interview of the tree taken just after the incident. Everything just began shaking. My pictures fell off the wall. I've barely been able to sleep since. Well, folks, that's some compelling testimony. Now, this may be hard for you to watch, but we actually have footage of Bob attacking the tree. Um, I think attacking is a bit harsh. Is that an opposition? Um, sure. Yes, I told you that already. I need your attention, and I need it right now. You and me, we have a case to hear. Sorry, proceed. Can I show the video or not? Oh yeah, I want to see that. I rest my case. Defense, your turn. My client, Bobbity Bob. Bob! Because all he just does is ran into a tree. Yes, I'm still here. Why are we even here? That is all. Alright, Jerry, looks like you have a tough decision ahead of you. 
Good luck. That's some impressive juggling there. I know, I'm genius. Okay, let's make a decision on the verdict. I think he's innocent because he hasn't done anything wrong. Just like I haven't done anything wrong. Back home, he has so face of a duel. Any verdict is fine as long as he gets the pie to the face. I think that he's guilty because of the interview with the Raven. You're so right. You're so smart. You're right. What do you think about this? I feel your pain, because I have it too. So what should the ver- Ow! So much pain. The verdict be? Statistically speaking, I don't know. Hello? <gasps> yes, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, sir. Uh-huh. Right away, sir. I mean, ma'am. I mean, sir. I mean, ma'am. I just got a report of a bone. I have to leave immediately. You're taking up my mirror. Hey, what was that? There is a bomb you was talking about. Hey, that's my job. Whoopee, it worked. You're learning well. So, what should we say to the judge? As a jury, we reach a verdict with bop 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 bop. Guilty. I defuse the bomb, guys. 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 Okay, Nikos, how was your experience at film camp this year? It was awesome! It's been more fun than last year. I got to make more people laugh, that's for sure. I love Mays making these friends around here, and I love the energy class, and once in a while I need to get out of the house because of my sisters. What about your sisters? What's the problem with your sisters? They're crazy. <laughs> it was amazing. And why was it amazing? What did you do this year? I did the makeup for repercussions. I learned you need to be flexible towards other people's ideas, otherwise you're not going to make it very far. It was gnarly, dude. I got to become one of the writers. And how was that experience for you, Chris? Wonderful, like a dream come true. Your experience at film camp? I liked it. Well, you did. did you meet some friends? Yeah, uh-huh. I met a friend. Who? You. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Fabulous! I came to this camp uh, with a lot of self-doubt, a lot of doubt. This cleared all those fears and qualms. And why did it, why did it clear all those fears? Because we proved ourselves. I believe that we did. We certainly did, and you certainly did as well, Michael. And what would you like to leave us with, Eli? Uh, only the guess with uh, you're walking with the real man on the bone, baby. I like to say this. This camp rules! I hope you'll always be my friends because we are family. I'd like to leave you personally, oh, personally. personally with this token appreciation. It's the highest honor one can receive at this film camp, in fact. A picture of me! I like it! With a lobster on my hair! Look, Robbie! Robbie will get the best kick out of this, I think. Thank you very much, pal. That's very nice of you.